Hi, beautiful. What's going on? Today, we're watching people color their hair split dye. Every time I say that, it makes no sense because how do you color something split dye? You don't. You split color dye somebody's hair, but you don't split dye color, or do you? Anyways, if you don't already know what that is, it's literally just like doing one color on this side and the other color on this side. It's so fucking cute if it's done right, and I can't wait to see a split dye moment. Hopefully, we get a good one, but I know we're gonna get some failages. <laughs> In here, let's watch some videos, shall we? Up first, we have Alex Ren or Rene. We may never know. So, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair orange on this side and blue on this side. It's so gonna be another split hair dye. Oh! We're doing pink and an orange. I love that color combination. I mean, it's just like really pretty. I hope she doesn't ruin it for me. Before I actually dye my hair, I kind of need to bleach just because I have all this blue in my hair. So I'm first going to bleach my hair. I have this King and William Color Freedom Cream Bleach. I saw this at Target. What is in that box color? Show me the stuff that is in there because I am worried. I don't want your poor hair breaking off. You already have very processed hair. We got to be careful. Yeah, that's pretty much how my hair looks like before. I definitely feel very nice and healthy because I have to bleach all of my hair. <laughs> Don't bleach all of it. No. We just need to bleach the parts that need the bleaching, which is the roots, okay? Your ends are already lightened. You could do a bleach bath to get that blue out because I know you want to get the blue out. I just hope she doesn't start with her mids and ends, please. Because then we will risk breakage and breakage is the word we don't talk about here. Perfect, so it comes with a lightening cream and then it comes with a developer, which is 20 and then it comes with a little mixer. Okay, so it is cream lightener, which usually tends to be more powerful than powder. I don't literally ever use cream lightener. I have used it before, not a big fan. We're using 20 volume with cream lightener. Cream lightener tends to lift more, so 20 volume might be okay and she should be just bleaching her roots mainly so this is actually good i don't mind this box color whoa who would have ever thought i would say that on this channel whoa mm -hmm. Before I do anything, I'm gonna put on my gloves. Oh, we're using gloves. Oh, I feel like I haven't seen anybody use gloves in so damn long. It's like exciting to me. Like, wow. I don't even know this is enough for my hair, even though this is two different boxes. Um, so I'm really hoping all this bleach can cover all this blue hair and also my roots. But I'm just gonna use this one and just bleach my hair. A little pro tip here. Mix one of them at a time. Finish that entire thing of bleach before then going on to the next box. A bleach because it does lose power the more it's exposed to air so you don't want to do that you want to mix up as you need it let's get started oh no i can't really like turn away or use my hands like i always do but i'm honestly just gonna put this bleach out no! We're putting lightener on her midsections first that has already been lightened before. Mmm, we're gonna see breakage probably. I don't know. Sometimes hair can just withstand it, but damn it. Also, why are we starting at the top? Start at the bottom so you can lay the hair on top of it as you go. It's so much easier. I swear. Everybody who starts at the top, I want you to just try one day starting at the bottom and working your way up. And we're putting the root on at the same time. Sh you should have started with the root, okay? And in the last five minutes, put a little bit in the ends, get that blue out of there, and move on with your life. Because I pretty much have to cover all of my hair with the bleach. I'm really hoping this turns out. We are just putting it on there, huh? Just going in. Oh, no, it's fine. Just, yeah, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. What? Also, you are putting it on your hairline now, and hairlines, they tend to have the most fragile hair on your entire head. And also, that hair takes the least amount of time to lighten. So let's be careful with that. Maybe next time we'll apply that last instead of first. I grabbed my brush and make sure I did all of the roots. How are we planning on getting the rest of the roots if we're laying everything down on it? This is so reckless and I kind of love it. Like, I just imagined myself, like, if I was able to just do this to a client, oh, it would be so fun. Like, just put them down in the sink and just dump all that bleach on them and be like, you're good to go. If we didn't have heat from our scalp affecting sh we could just dump any color on the head and it would all come out even. That would be a great world to live in. Yeah, I'm definitely glad that I got 
another one. This would definitely not be enough. I have I really only had one box and then a couple of days ago I was like crap, I probably should get another one. The good thing here is that she's applying a lot of lightener. And do you know that I love that? I want you to pack it on there. Get it nice and layered and creamy and gorgeous. That way we get the maximum lift possible. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with the bleach. This is how it's leveling. I don't even know how what that looks like. But yeah, it's pretty much all the bleach. That is a great amount of lighter. I never see people put enough lighter on their heads. However, why the fuck is it covering all of the blue? I hope she's not leaving this on for a long amount of time because those ends are gonna be crisp. P. Yeah, I've been a problem that this is in for maybe like 35 minutes to 45 minutes. She said she's leaving it on for 35 to 45 minutes. <laughs> please, ends. Please stay on her head. Please don't fall to the floor. So I just washed out the bleach and this is how my hair is. Oh! Still blue in my hair, which I knew was going to happen because when I washed out the bleach, I can tell it was still really blue. Oh! What the fuck? What? Why? Mmm. Ah. It's oof. Oh, Our roots turned out yellow because we need to apply to them first, girl. And let those sit for like an hour. And then the ends. Blue is so annoying to take out of hair. And um, it tends to just really stick. So very surprised that like it basically did nothing somehow. I don't know. Okay, it definitely looks lighter. I changed my mind. My roots look really good. There's some low spots up right here. And right here that I missed, but there's still blue in my hair. And I know if I put the color over it, it's not going to tape because of the blue. I know it's going to tape the roots, but for the blue, it's not going to tape. She's going to have to get all that blue out somehow before she then goes in with the pink and orange, or else it's going to create really ugly colors. I, I am back to the blue. The next day, I literally just came home from work, and I got more bleach. So my hair it looks all nice and dry, obviously. Blue is still there, so I got more bleach. So hopefully when I bleach my hair, I can get rid of this blue, even if it like lightens it just a little bit, so I get the color. We're going in with round two of bleach. Oh, I'm spooked out. I'm scared. Put it on the blue pieces. Hopefully they still get rid of the blue. Oh, I need the bloom to go. Bye-bye. Honestly, at this point, we should just do the roots again because the roots are still dark as hell. Just do it all. I cannot believe we're going in with another round of lightener. Ah, like, keep in mind, you guys, her hair is already pre-lightened before she even started doing any of this. But I'm gonna leave this on my hair for maybe like 15, 20 minutes at least. Not really that long. Oh my god, it's so white. All right, so just watch out the bleach out of my hair. This is how my hair is. Look a lot after the second round of bleach. It doesn't really look that bad. There's definitely like a chilly kind of blue tint to my hair, which doesn't really look that bad. Like, I don't even know if you can tell on camera. Especially on this side, there's still like a lot of blue. I don't know how the hell her hair looks so healthy still. What? She definitely got that blue pretty much all out. So congratulations. Okay, we're going in with the pink now. Oh, that is dark. That is red. <laughs> Except a lot of like really fuchsia pink pinks. Uh, I mean, it pretty much is red when it's fuchsia pink. It tends to look a lot more red before you rinse it off, so at least it's gonna cover up all the mistakes. <laughs> oh, dude, I pretty much have, like, enough product left, so I'm good, but I'm gonna just make sure everything's drenched. Well, we definitely got our face covered in it as well. Maybe just avoiding the, the skin next time would be good. You guys love getting color all over your face, your body. I saw a girl using acetone the other day to get it off. What? So I just did the orange. This is how the orange is looking like. So now we're gonna move on to the new orange, which I'm put on this side. Okay, wait. The other side was orange. Very confused all of a sudden. I think she just applied the orange, and now she's applying the pink. That definitely looked like red slash pink to me. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know why that looks the same. Look, this is more red, and this looks like a hot pink color. Also, I don't really have that much product in here, so I'm really hoping that it's enough. Also, where the blue is, it's turned to turn like into a, like a dark purple color, which is interesting. I'm getting nervous. It looks like the same color on both sides. It looks like I don't even know how the back looks, but it looks really good. The model concern is that it's not gonna really be like two different colors just because the colors look so similar. I'm really hoping this turns orange, but the hopping is really pretty. Yeah, this is what the hair is it looks like it does not really look it's fully saturated which i love all right so i just got out of the share i left it in for like literally like almost an hour because i definitely lost track of time <laughs> oh my god whoa where did that orange come from that looks 
Sick. Sick, 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 sick. I want to see it dry. Okay, so this is pretty much the final result of my hair. I'm literally so obsessed with my hair. My hair is not fully dry. But I'm literally so obsessed with my hair color. So this is like the hot pink side. This is the orange side. It's definitely orange because I know before you can tell that it was not really full of orange. It's orange. I am so obsessed. That looks really, really, really good. I was not expecting it to be like two totally different colors, but you can definitely tell it's orange and fuchsia. Girl, somehow you slayed that. Like, I literally don't know how you got that to happen like that. I lost hope a while ago. I'm going to be honest with you, but you kind of killed it. Bravo to you. Up next, we have a video by Emma Hayden. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is bleaching the other side of my hair, cutting bangs, and dyeing both sides a different color. This sounds so fun. I love this concept. That is going to be really cute, or it could be really bad. Well, since I already have this side of my hair bleached, I'm just going to section that off and just cut like extra bangs in like these longer pieces to make the bangs more full. There's no going back now. That's actually kind of cute. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That happened so quick and I like blink my eyes and she all of a sudden had bangs and it looks so bomb. You look amazing with bangs. Okay, come through with that technique. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done with the bangs. It's definitely a different look. Honestly, the bangs look perfect. So this is the bleach that I would use to like touch up my roots. And obviously I don't need that much to cover. And then I'm using 30 volume developer. Okay, good choice of lightener, good choice of developer. Into it. We're moving along, we're doing it. Plus a foil to help it process faster. So I'm just gonna do like the length of my hair and not do the roots until my brown lifts a little bit because the roots will lift super fast. Oh, whoa. I feel like I'm being serenaded. That was like music to my ears. She's gonna put foils in. She's gonna do her mids and ends first. And then she's gonna go back and do her roots later. I love this plan. You know why guys? Because we get the heat from that foil developing the mids and ends. And then we get the heat on the scalp developing the roots, which results in everything coming out even. All right, no turning back now. I love when people use foils, but I do not love when people scrunch the foils up like that. Just one fold, two folds, that's it. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna check on the hair and see if I should do my roots. This is the issue I figured I would come into. You can see that's probably where my hair grew out. Ooh, that black dye, baby. That black dye on those ends is not coming out. Like the reddish brown at the bottom is where the old hair dye must have still been. So I'll probably have to do like another layer of bleach. Great idea. Definitely layer more bleach on there and keep it in the foils for longer. I'm gonna go ahead and do the roots. Now I'll probably just wait like another 15 minutes and then wash it out and then we'll just go from there. It's still looking very orange. I don't know if I would have rinsed it yet. Okay, we are doing a second round of bleach. Great idea. I think this is exactly what you need to do, but put it in foils. You need that heat to lift out that orange. It's gonna be really stubborn for you. But the roots in midsection look amazing. Can we just applaud you on that one? So this is my hair after two bleaches. She did an amazing job. That looks phenomenal. As you can see, the ends of like the bangs here and this long strip here are still pretty orange or shred. Um, and it's just like super yellow and brassy anyway. But that was kind of to be expected because I do just have a lot of hair dye left and like stuck in my hair that it would be difficult to lift all of it out. But I'm going to be covering them with some bright colors. What colors are we doing? I think that was turquoise and pink. I'm using the Lunar Tides hair dyes. I'm using fuchsia pink and then juniper green. <sighs> I love pink and green together. I think when I had split dye, I did pink and green, right? That was super cute. And so I'm going to be doing the bang section of this side pink, and then this will be green. And then these bangs will be green and this little strip will be pink. Oh, we're going creative, creative. I thought we were just doing one side, one color, one the other side of the other color. Last time I used this hair dye, um, I used my bare hands because I didn't have any gloves. I need to try and get the roots, just like a super crisp line. Oh no, I got pink on the other side. This is not going great. It's looking fun, but yeah, we're not supposed to color the face. We color the hair, just the hair. I need to finish this. <laughs> okay, that's done. 
Okay, I literally look ridiculous. I'm a mess. So I washed it out and here is what we're working with. Oh, it's already looking cool. Give me the final look though. I wanna see it blow dried. I'm gonna dry my hair and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so here is the finished product. I am still in shock because this is just such a different change. It's very drastic and I just don't know how I feel about it yet. Oh, I know how I feel. I feel good. I feel like this is such a vibe. This looks so cool. I have a few critiques, but I'll let you speak first. The idea turned out pretty cool. I think the bangs look pretty good too. But yeah, just very vibrant and a lot to take in. <laughs> oh my God, I think you did an incredible job. The only thing I would say is that I wish you just did one side completely pink and the other side completely green. I don't know, that's just my preference. It still looks amazing. Those colors came out beautiful. Oh wow, like seriously, that fuchsia, whew, blow me away. Fuchsia, girl, that looks amazing. Congrats. Those were some incredible split dye transformations. I was not expecting them to come out cute at all i'm gonna be honest with you i was very skeptical but you slayed you did the damn thing and it looks beautiful if you guys like to follow me anywhere else or check out my hair color line you can do so here here's all my things also you can check out xmono hair at xmonohair.com or it's linked below for you too you can shop at the new wave tech collection and our wonderful sexy range of colors that will give you healthier hair post coloring because there is bond builder built into every single color of ours so it's like a deep hair healing treatment as well as color all at the same time. If you guys like to check out more videos, you can do so right here and right here. Let's do it. Let's hang out more. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.